Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and I am going on vacation. A much needed actual real vacation. I am lucky to where I do kind of travel a lot. Like I get to travel a decent amount, but a lot of times when I travel, it's like a really quick weekend trip. It's like two days, two to three days real quick. Like I don't have a lot of time to spare to actually like fully do a full vacation. I'm still grateful for those little quick trips, but I'm excited for this trip because it is gonna be eight, days total for me which i think is like the longest vacation i've ever been on in my whole entire life high key and i'm going to actually two separate locations it's gonna be a vibe it's gonna be a real full-blown vacation so with that means that i need to pack smartly i need to really make sure that i pack properly because this is like i said the longest vacation i've ever been on i'm going to two different places two different vibes slightly and i wanted to take you guys along for the packing process. So what's unique about this trip is that it's like half and half. The first half is going to be family friendly, very Zaya focused. It's gonna be me, Zaya, and my mom and dad. And we're going somewhere. I'm keeping it kind of a surprise. You guys will see in the vlog. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging the trip and showing you guys everything about the trip. But for now, I kind of wanna keep it a little bit of a surprise. But it's a very kid friendly, kid focused place that we're going to. This is really kind of like for Zaya. So the stuff that I'm packing is obviously appropriate for that. I'm also going to show you guys in this video how I pack for Zaya for what she's going to be bringing in and like how I organize and pack all her kid stuff as well and like specific kid travel, kid vacation stuff that I ordered. I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. But that's what kind of makes my packing situation interesting is that for the first half of the trip, I'm in mommy mode, kid friendly, family friendly, active, whatever. But then the second half of the trip my parents and Zaya are leaving but I'm staying and so this is adult time this is not mommy mode this is you know hot girl summer more like mode so then it's like a whole different vibe for the second half of the stuff that I'm packing for myself so I want to show y'all both halves both sets of stuff and then obviously some stuff is interchangeable and then I'm also going to show you guys like I said what I'm packing for Zaya as you can see I already got my hair did y'all will see I got it tied up for now y'all will see I mean I mean, I guess by the time you're watching this, you will have already seen it on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. But I got like a little braided style with tracks in the back. Zaya is actually currently getting her braids done right now. That's where she is while I'm doing this. My mom also got her hair braided, so we all just gonna be braided up for our vacation. And I got my lashes done. Well, I'm like halfway prepped for my self care beauty prep. I still have to get my nails and my pedicure done and my wax, which I'm gonna get done today after I finish packing. But I really need to finish packing because we leave tomorrow so but what I have done so far is I broke out my garment rack this thing really comes in handy it collapses and folds down so you can store it away when you're not using it but I use it a lot when I'm like styling outfits for content or photo shoots and I also use it for packing so I can like separate everything out see it clearly and see what I want to bring so I did already separate out stuff that I already owned just you know from my closet some of the stuff I just haven't gotten a chance to wear yet but I've had it for a while and so that's like this whole section here is stuff that I already own that I might bring with me and then everything else on the rack here is new stuff that I ordered I kind of went a little bit crazy so I guess I'll start first by doing a little haul for you guys of the stuff that I ordered I also got a lot of shoes I feel like it's been so long since I've done like a clothing haul on YouTube remember the good old days on YouTube when we used to do the clothes and hauls and the collective hauls and like you would literally just come with your shopping bags and like pull everything out so i ordered from a few different places now i'm probably not going to pack all of this stuff i start with like my possibilities and then i narrow it down so this is kind of my process i lay everything out i start like looking at everything and really deciding okay what do i really need to bring but i'll just show y'all everything to start off with and i'm not gonna do a try on haul i'm so sorry but i just don't have it in me right now to do a try on haul y'all will see everything on when I post of me actually wearing it on the trip. You know what I mean? But for right now, can't do it, I'm sorry. First thing I got, this is for the hot girl summer second half of the trip. It's like this long slit skirt. Like it has a very high slit all the way up. So like it's gonna show your whole leg to the side, but it's long. And then just a little matching little tiny tube top to go with it. So very Barbie vibes, very tropical, but a little skimpy, not super kid friendly. So that's gonna be for the second half 
for the trip. Y'all know the vibes. This is from Pretty Little Thing. I don't know if I said that already. And then also this swim cover up. This is from Miss Pap, Miss Pop. This is a swim cover up. It's like a little crochet dress, long maxi crochet dress. Very like low V. Obviously I'm gonna have a swimsuit underneath it. So it's not gonna be like inappropriate, but I just feel like I'm gonna wear this for the hot girl part and not the family friendly part. This is interchangeable. It's just a shirt dress, very lightweight, flowy material, also from Miss Pat in this kind of like summery green color. So like this paired with some sandals, going to get lunch or even just throw it over your swimsuit. So this is like interchangeable. You could also dress this up with heels and maybe unbutton it a little bit, you know? So that's interchangeable. These pants are also interchangeable, also from Miss Pop, a darker green color, lightweight, flowy, super wide leg, super long. They're actually long enough on me, which is cute. So this with like a little simple top, like a beachy look, so that's interchangeable. And then I got this, also from Miss Pop, white, silky. Okay, I had to stop, I got interrupted. Then I ended up going to get the rest of my things done. I got my nails done. Look at the nails, look at the nails. Vacation nails, I also got a pedicure. <laughs> Can't really show you that, just a French pedicure, kind of matching the nails. So braids are done, lashes are done, nails, pedicure. We're pretty much prepped. Zaya got her braids done, I'm gonna show you in a second. But where was I? I was doing my little haul of my clothes. I think I left off on this set. So this is from Miss Pop. I don't know how to say it, if it's Miss Pap or Miss Pop, but it's this silky satin white button down, kind of oversized, and it has matching shorts. And I know it kind of looks like it's giving pajamas, when you just look at it on the hanger, but on the model, it gave a really cute beachy vibe. I think when you kind of just accessorize it the right way. So this is another one of those outfits that I think is versatile. I can definitely wear it in a more family friendly way, but I can also, you know, give it some razzle dazzle for the second half of my trip. And then the next store is Meshki. I love Meshki. Whenever you guys ask me like where I like to shop, this would definitely be one of my like favorite stores that I could recommend to you guys. None of this is sponsored or anything. I just thought I would do an old fashioned haul of just, you know, stuff that I bought with my own money from places that I like. So I got these two dresses. This one, I actually already own a dress from them in this exact fabric, in this exact color, but this is a different style of dress. I have like a spaghetti strap maxi, but this one is kind of the racer back top and it's a midi with a slit. I just really like the fabric. Like it's, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but it's just like really high quality thick, very supportive, very good fabric. And then this is the same type of fabric, but obviously different color, different style of dress, simple spaghetti strap, short dress. I'll definitely bring this one. This one, I almost feel like it might be too hot because it's like a longer dress and it's like really tight and thick. So I don't know, that might be like not as comfortable for the weather, but we'll see. Also from Meshki, this is a different type of fabric. It's like a slinkier, silkier, softer material. This is just a plain brown tube top. Throw it on with some short. Shorts, lots of ways to style that. And then this outfit is definitely more so for the second half of my trip. A little twist front crop top with a matching mini skirt. And this is the same material as this crop top. Just super high quality. I love the fabrics that they use. It usually fits me really well. I pretty much get everything in a size small and I normally don't have any issues with the fit. So I think this will be really cute. Jazzed up with some heels, you know, for a night on the town when I'm in my hot girl mode. And then the last thing I got from Meshki is just a simple white bodysuit. So, you know, pair this with some high-waisted denim shorts and some sandals or pair it like with wide leg pants that I showed before. This is just a really good basic to pair with any of my bottoms. And then I got stuff from Old Navy. This stuff is more so for the family friendly side of the trip because like I got this chocolate brown dress. It's not super tight. It's not super low cut in the front and it's not super short. It's like a good like appropriate fit to it. But I like the fabric. I like the color. It's a breathable fabric. So this will be something simple to throw on with some sandals, you know, during the day or whatever. Then I got this little pink dress. Same kind of thing, like not super, super tight 
not super revealing or anything, just a cute little simple breathable daytime tank top dress and a nice soft ribbed fabric. And y'all know I love my Barbie pink. And then I got these two t-shirts, which I have this specific shirt from Aritzia that I'm obsessed with that I have in like a million colors, but it's kind of pricey. It's like, I wanna say it's around $30 for a little baby tee like this. And this one from Old Navy was $12. And I think it was even on sale on top of that. So like half the price of the one I normally get from Aritzia. And it's similar, it's not the same. The one from Aritzia, the reason why I am willing to spend $30 on it is because it's just, it's special. The fabric is special. This is similar, not quite the same, but pretty close. So I got this kind of rust color and then I just got a plain white one because you always need like a little t-shirt for vacation, obviously. So that's Old Navy. And then this chunk of stuff is from Shein. The good thing about Shein is that it's super affordable. Y'all know about Shein. Super affordable, that's why most people order from them. It can be a little bit hit and miss, I'm not gonna lie. I got this maxi dress in this rust color. It is low cut, but I feel like this could be good. You know, I feel like it's versatile enough. Like it's, it's a maxi dress. So, you know, you're fully covered. It's flowy, it's very, you know, the top is a little low cut but like I feel like I could still wear this for like a dinner with the family or even just more like swimsuit cover-up type vibes and then I got these asymmetrical neckline you can kind of tell it's like got kind of a funky neckline these little crop tank tops same one in bright orange and in green I'm kind of feeling orange and green for this trip and then I got these one shoulder tank tops literally just a one shoulder cropped tank ribbed material surprise nice material on these and I got a green one and just a nude beige one of the same exact thing those tank tops were I want to say like five dollars each the dress was probably like ten dollars she and stuff is super cheap then I got this little coordinating set because once you see where I'm going you'll see y'all can probably tell at least what type of place I'm going to already by the stuff I've showed you but when you see exactly where I'm going you'll understand why I picked this with this print this is definitely more so for the hot girl side of the trip because it's a little tiny top with a matching little short mini skirt with the same material. So here you can see the print a little bit better. You know, being festive. And then I did get some other stuff from Shein, like pajamas and swimsuit type stuff, but I'll show that in a second. The last place I ordered from is this store called Club London, which I had never ordered from before, but I saw a TikTok about it and I wanted to check it out. So I got this set, which is like this kind of peach button down like very lightweight flowy textured material oversized button down with the matching flowy wide leg high-waisted pants so I don't know if y'all seen like this is like a real vacation look that I've seen recently the matching coordinating sets like this which like I said they kind of look like pajamas when you first look at it but if you style it right it gives you like a really nice resort vibe so that's the vibe I'm going for for that then I got this dress which I'm not sure about I tried it on and it looks okay but the material is really thick and I feel like I'm gonna be too hot in this but it's like a short sleeve dress with the ruching at the bottom but then it's like all cut open in the front and it just has the little bra part in the front I'm gonna have to like overlay product pictures to the sides so y'all can see what I'm talking about with, with how the stuff fits but I really like the color I like the concept it fits okay I feel like it's not super flattering on my body type for some reason and the fabric is really heavy and really thick so I know I'm gonna be hot so I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna bring that one yet and then like I said I have all this stuff that I just already had so this is kind of like what I'm choosing from to pack up here I also did buy a bunch of bags let me show you the bags real quick so this bag I ordered on Amazon and then I got a notification that my order was lost and it was canceled and blah 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 so I didn't think I was ever going to get it but then it showed up at my door anyway I got this bag it's like a really lightweight mesh and I got it because you know big beach bag or whatever but as far as packing you can make it super compact so it doesn't take up a lot of space 
with packing. But since I thought this one was canceled and I wasn't gonna get it, I got this one from Shein and it's a crochet bag. So I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, you know, gives you a lot of space, but when you're packing it, you can like ball it up really tight so it doesn't take up a lot of space versus like a normal structured, more basket weave, heavy duty beach bag. That's like gonna be this big thing. I wanted something that like wasn't gonna take up a lot of space but still give me a lot of space inside the bag, you know? So now I have both of these. I don't know if I'm gonna bring both of them. I think I'm gonna actually bring two suitcases, which that's gonna be the first time I think in my life for any trip that I've actually brought the full size bag and the carry-on suitcase, but we shall see. This bag I actually already had. It's from Amazon. Anything that is from Amazon, I will link for you guys in my Amazon storefront, and I'll have a link for that in the description box. Anything else that's not from Amazon, if I can find a link, I will link it, you know, just separate in the description box so definitely check the description box either way but yeah this one's from Amazon this is a new one that I got from Shein actually it's a little white and then these two are from Miss Pop that same place that I got like these first pieces from a little brown faux tega basket weave bag and then this little beige with the ruched strap sorry the lighting's not the best anymore because it's literally dark outside because I got so distracted and carried away so as far as handbags I think I'm gonna bring these four because this will give me a good variety white beige brown and green because a lot of my outfits either have green or like green could complement it for like a little pop otherwise one of these three neutrals can go with it so those are gonna be the bags plus I feel like honestly I just need to decide between these two I really don't need to bring both of these but they're so like compact I might just go ahead and sneak both of them in there I don't know then underneath here, I have two piles for my swimwear. So I have my family friendly side of the vacation, you know, appropriate swimwear, a little bit more coverage and everything. And then I have my hot girl side, second half of the vacation, a little bit more skimpy swimwear. <laughs> you know, it's certain things you gonna wear to the water park and certain things you gonna wear when you're just showing out on the beach. I'm bringing two whole sets of swimwear cause I just have to, like, I'm sorry. So for example, on the family friendly side, I have this top from Target. Decent coverage to it, structured, thicker straps and everything, really cute. And then I paired it with these little swim shorts from Shein. So this is like kind of a high-waisted, they're like little shorts, so it definitely gives you more coverage in the booty area, but you can also ruche it on the sides if you wanna like scrunch it up smaller, but this is just definitely a more full coverage bottom to go with this top, just so I feel, you know, a little bit more modest with the kids. But then like for the hot girl side I have stuff like this so a little string bikini little string you know this is actually from Meshki as well I got this a while back but I just never had a chance to wear it really cute print you know so they're both cute you know I like this and I like this it's just different vibes different occasions <laughs> And I'm basically packing four swimsuits each because it's four days with the family, four days being a hot girl. So I have four and four. Like I'm not gonna wear the same swimsuit over and over again. I just don't like that. It gets wet. I don't like to wait for it to dry. I don't like to put a moist swimsuit back on my body. I just can't do it. If I know I'm gonna be most likely getting in the water for four days, I need four swimsuits. That's just how I do it. I have eight swimsuits total with a few different cover-up options that kind of match with the swimsuit suits as well and same thing on the other side okay then we have the shoes which I'm struggling because I have too many shoes here that are similar to each other and I know I'm gonna need to pare down and this is not even all the shoe options I want to bring so I'm trying to figure this out I ordered these 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 and these so those six pairs is what I just recently ordered kind of in preparation for this trip and they're so similar like especially these heels they're all all obviously nude colored square toe kind of medium heel height like very similar heels on all of them if not exactly the same and of course like the straps are different but with them being like so similar in the same color it's like I really should only probably bring one of these because they're so similar it would not make sense to try to bring all of them but they're like different and like I can't decide which ones I want to bring these are from Shein it's like a stretchy strap really cute actually comfortable too so i really like these i think these were from shein too actually i want to say these were from shein too so obviously
obviously a different tied up strap, but like same kind of heel, same kind of vibe. These are also pretty comfortable. This is like kind of stretchy material, stretchy fabric material. So I really like these too. And then these are from Pretty Little Thing. They were on sale for literally like $8 or something crazy. So I snagged these up. These ones are not as comfortable just cause like these heels with the little toe thing are never comfortable for me at least, but they're cute. I feel like it's giving vacation vibes. They don't fit my feet as perfectly as I would like them to, but hey, for $8, you can't really complain. But these are cute too. I don't know which ones do I choose or do I just try to bring all of them? Then I also have these white heels. These are from Shein too from before. Not a recent purchase, but I've like just really never worn them. Kind of similar vibes with the square toe and the lower heel and the strappiness. These are from a brand called Candy and I've had them for a minute and I haven't got a chance to wear them and I really want to wear them. I have like a specific outfit in mind. So I think I'm definitely bringing these for the hot girl half of the trip. Definitely not comfortable, but very cute. And then I have all my flat sandals. These Steve Madden, which are like kind of my go-to lately. But then I also have these sparkly Steve Maddens, which are like lace up. So it's like, do I really need to bring two rhinestone Steve Madden sandals? Or can I just pick one? They're so different different even though they're similar. So I don't know if I'm gonna bring both of those. These ones I just bought from that same Miss Pop place and they're like beaded. These are really cute. I'm definitely bringing these. I bought these just for this trip. They definitely go with the vibe of where I'm going. These, it's like, I felt like I needed just a super plain, just throw on and go type sandal. So I got these, which are almost like the flat version of these heels. <laughs> these are also from Shein. So I think I'm definitely bringing these cause you know, I just need like a plain old sandal to throw on. But then I also got these, which are like a slightly more classier, elevated version, you know? So should I maybe just bring these and not these? So many decisions. I can't bring all these shoes. So I'm gonna have to really stop and make some decisions with these because a lot of them are so similar. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm currently at with it. I have a lot of options, a lot of choices. I just need to narrow it down and actually decide what I'm actually gonna bring. I can't bring all of this stuff and then make sure I have my essentials, of course, on top of that and actually pack it up. So I'll show you guys that in a second. In the meantime, let's go see about Zaya's stuff. Okay, first things first with Zaya, let's see how your hair turned out. She just got her hair braided today, so we're both braided up. This time she got pink and purple beads. Last time she had like white and clear. So this is her second time ever getting her hair braided. How do you like it? Love it. You love it? So for Zaya's haul, cause she got a bunch of new stuff too. We have a Zaya clothing haul, but we also have a Zaya travel Amazon haul because it's been a minute since Zaya, what's the last trip that you went on? Keystone, Colorado? No, where did we go? Disney World. Disney. I think Disney was the last like big trip that you went on. That was for your birthday last year. Again, she's taking the little weekend trips. We've definitely done like little fun things and little traveling, but as far as like a real full out vacation, going on the plane, needing to fully pack and organize, I feel like the last time she did that was Disney. So since then, she has really needed to re-up her travel essentials. And so we got a lot of stuff off of Amazon for like kids travel stuff. So we'll show you that in a second. One thing that she's packing is like I was just saying for myself, four swimsuits for four days. So none of these are like brand new or anything, but I told her to pick out her four favorite swimsuits. We have the mermaid swimsuit, which has the matching mermaid skirt cover up. We have her little tropical leaf print two piece. Yeah, make sure you have both pieces, a little cheetah print two piece. And then where's the bottoms of this? Anyway, I forgot we did get this new swimsuit for her from Target the other day. It's a really cute little one piece. It's like blue tie dye, I a little know. one piece with the knotted detail on either side. Super cute from Target. It was like $17. Four-ish swimsuits for four days. That's the first thing. And then the clothes. So I picked out a lot of cute little outfits from Marshalls. One day I just went to Marshalls and they actually had a whole bunch of cute sets. 
So like this says mermaid hair, don't care. And it's like this mermaid design with pearls and stuff on it. Have you even seen this? Did I show you this? I love it. Do you like it? I thought you would like it because you know the whole mermaid thing and it's like all sparkly. Mermaid, mermaid. So it's a really cute top, but it came with matching biker shorts that are also like glittery with the mermaid scales. So that was a cute outfit. Only $9.99 from Marshalls. And then they had like a bunch of them. So this is like a starfish themed outfit, also sparkly. So it has the tank top, a little skirt with the matching starfish pattern on it, also sparkly. And then it even came with a matching scrunchie that goes with the skirt. So she can like put it in her ponytail. So that makes it super easy. Whole outfit all in one with the matching accessory. Then here's another one this is a super cute like off the shoulder top with a floor like a tropical floral print and matching little shorts that go with it and this one came with a matching headband this one's not like overly tropical but it was still kind of like beachy to me this is like a cute little top it has buttons going down the back this is from the Jessica Simpson I didn't know Jessica Simpson had a kids collection but then these are the shorts that came with it which I thought were super cute I love of this color scheme. This is the last one that I got from Marshalls. Like I said, all of these were like $9.99, $10.99. This one was $12.99. This one I thought would be a good airport fit because it's like kind of sweatshirt material, but it's short sleeve, cute color scheme with the tie dye, and then these little sweat shorts that match with it. So something comfy and cozy to wear like on the plane maybe. So you can either wear this going or coming back. So that was all those little matching outfits were from Marshalls and then from Target, I already showed y'all the swimsuit, but then we got these two dresses. So here's this like stripy dress that I could wear coming back on the plane. That's not for the plane. That's to like to go to dinner. You can use this to go to dinner, lunch, or breakfast and use it after the water park or we could use it to go out and play. What do you like about the dress? I like the stripes and that's a short sleeve little dress. So about this one, I like about the pink, the orange, the polka dots, and the flowers. And what I really like about it is it's a long big dress that we can use for dinner and stuff like that. Yeah, this is more of almost like a maxi dress, which she doesn't have any of those. So I thought that would be super cute to wear to dinner. Cute little tropical print. So both of those are from Target. They were like 20 bucks each. And then I've also got like this matching set from Walmart, which we got a while back. So packing a lot of stuff like this, like coordinating sets, make it easy. So she already knows exactly what her outfits are because she can easily tell what goes together. And it's just easier to pack like, okay, one, two three four little sets like this a few dresses like this for like going out to dinner of course your swimwear and then of course just like regular comfy shorts t-shirts normal comfy casual stuff that you can just throw on in between activities and stuff but that's mainly the type of clothes that we're packing for her and then for shoes she has like these two pairs of sandals from Fab Kids. These are new. Plain brown pair, which can like go with anything. These little denim pair, which I think pair cutely with like some of her new stuff that we got. And then, <laughs> are you gonna bring those JoJo Siwa sunglasses? You picked them out. That was for her Halloween costume. Would you wear those on the trip? Okay, next part of the haul, Zaya hasn't even seen this stuff. I wanted to show her and y'all, but I placed a huge Amazon order for like kid-friendly travel stuff. So the first thing is this little pink backpack, which Grammy actually already customized. So she put all the text and graphics on with her Cricut machine. So one thing about us, we gonna customize something with the Cricut. It says, are we there yet? World traveler, and it has a suitcase, a passport, and an airplane. What do you think? I love it. 
So this is gonna be like her little carry-on backpack for her to carry onto the plane to have her little snacks and her little coloring book and her iPad and things to keep her entertained during the travel. Speaking of what's gonna go inside that backpack, got a new pair of, these are actually wireless kids headphones, pink of course. So you can use the wire or not use the wire, I think. But yeah, little headphones, cause the ones that she had got broken from before. So she can have her headphones for yeah, yeah, the yeah, iPad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely gonna pack those in the backpack. Also for the airplane, this is a little kid's travel pillow thing. So it opens up like that. <laughs> So like, it's like when you're sitting on the plane, you might wanna like kind of lean to the side like this. So this kind of gives you a little something to lay on. Her own little personal neck pillow, so that'll also go in the backpack. A new iPad case, wow. But yeah, this is a really sturdy, heavy duty, kid approved <laughs> iPad case, but it has the little butterfly wings, which act as a stand for it. So when she's on the plane and she pulls a little table out, she could like stand this up and watch the iPad with her new wireless headphones and then another thing for the travel day is this little thing my mom said she saw some little kid in the airport with it and that's what inspired her to like tell me about it but yeah it's a, so if you see on the picture it's got a hood on it so my mom said she saw the kids in the airport like just wearing it so that you don't have to like carry it or worry about like necessarily packing it away in your bag you can just wear it and just like <laughs> be cozy in the airport, so. I mean, of course you can fold it up and, and pack it away in your bag. Since it has a hood, it just makes it like a little bit more easy for the kid to keep up with it and not just be like dragging it around. <laughs> you gonna go in the airport like that? Anyways, this is a little kid's toiletry bag for her toothbrush and toothpaste and everything. It's got a little unicorn design on it. Real cute, her own little thing. Cause like in the past, I've just kind of added her little toiletries to my toiletry bag, but she didn't really necessarily have like her whole own thing. So I thought that was cute. And then this is actually a set of packing cubes. So I have a set of packing cubes, which I've showed you guys before, but I'll probably show you guys again later in this video but it just really helps to organize your stuff in your suitcase so this is Zaya's own set of packing cubes so it's basically like little separated pouches so it's like different sizes and shapes of pouches this one is specifically to put shoes inside of this one is like to bring it and put your dirty laundry inside of and then different shapes and sizes of these little cubes and they actually hold a lot of stuff each so like if you want to do all your daytime outfits in one all your dinner outfits all your swimsuits all your underwear it just looks everything's like organized and separated so when you get to where you're going everything's not just jumbled up into one suitcase and you're not like just digging through on messing up everything so I really like mine and it has helped me pack and since she's gonna have her whole own suitcase I wanted to get a set for her all right so these last items if you can't tell by now which you could probably easily already tell I know I said the location that we're going to is a surprise but you can probably already tell that it is a beach type of location so if you couldn't already tell that you're gonna be able to tell by these items <laughs> I got her a little sun hat and it has a Space for my ponytail, so yeah, if I a ponytail, I can just stick my face out. You got a ponytail hole, or if you're wearing your hair down and it has a little chin strap and everything. So cute little pink sun hat to wear. Also a pink visor as a different option. I didn't put it on right, but you get the idea. And then this was a little set of three kids sunglasses. So like a little pink mirrored pair a purple pair and a blue pair so she has options to match her outfits little cheap sunglasses so we won't care if we lose them or they get broken or anything then i got this little swim shirt a wetsuit top wetsuit top sure we'll call it a wetsuit top got one of those this is cute it's like a little swim cover-up kind of like a towel almost cherry cloth material rainbow mermaid because we love rainbows and mermaids in this house and it has a little hood so something just to throw on on top of your swimsuit when you get out of the water and then a water bottle which i don't know this is kind of heavy i don't know if we're really gonna pack this but i saw it on amazon it was cute i bought it we might bring it and i think that's everything 
ending for the Amazon haul. All right, y'all, so it is the next morning. We do leave today. Luckily, we do not have an early flight, so I do have some time. I started prepping everything last night, as y'all saw, and now I'm actually starting to actually pack. So organizing stuff into the pouches, the packing cubes, making sure of everything. And yes, I am a last minute packer. <laughs> I am finishing packing the morning that we leave. And that's just pretty much how I always do it. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I am not gonna come on here and lie to y'all and be like, here's how I pack for a vacation. So three weeks in advance, I perfectly do everything. No, I am a last minute packer. I tend to be a little bit of an over packer as well. But with this trip, I have limited space. Like I keep saying, I'm basically packing for two trips in one. So I can't be over packing for two trips in one. That's just gonna be way too much. And I gotta pack Zaya stuff. So I'm really trying to like consolidate a little bit. But yes, I am a last minute packer. So let me show you what I got going on in my packing cubes. These are the packing cubes I've had for a minute. They are also from Amazon. I will link them down below. They come in super handy, just like I was talking about Zaya's cubes yesterday. So the way I'm doing it is I'm trying to separate the two parts of my trip into different kind of like sections. So this is gonna be my swimwear packing cube. All of my swimwear for the whole trip is gonna go in here, but I'm separating it half and half. So on the bottom half of the packing cube, I'm putting the stuff for the second half of my trip. It goes on the bottom because I won't need to access it until later, you know what I mean? So starting off with swimsuit cover-ups at the bottom. And these cubes may not look big, but they actually hold a lot of clothes once you compact it in there. So these are all my swimsuit cover-ups for the second half of my trip. And then in this little drawstring dust bag, which is just something I kept from a pair of shoes that I ordered. I always keep these little bags. They really come in handy. So this, I put all of my swimsuits for the second half of my trip to help separate it. So this is going inside of here as like a separator. So that's everything for the second half of my trip. Now for the first half, I have everything here and that's gonna go on top. And this looks like it's severely overflowing and it's not gonna fit, but it is gonna fit. So watch me zip this up. See, boom, it fits. It all like squishes down. You know, it's just clothes, it's just fabric. So it squishes down quite a bit once you zip it up into the pouch. So this is my swimwear pouch for the whole eight day trip, divided up into two sections. So it's nicely organized. Another pouch that I'm doing is this more flat zip up pouch for bras, underwear, and any sort of undergarment related thing. So I like to pack a lot of that stuff because you never know, you never know what could happen. Make sure you're covered in your undergarment section. So I have like soft bras, strapless bra, regular bra, bunch of underwear and stuff like that. So that's all gonna go in here. And so then I don't actually have enough pouches to separate out everything completely like I would like to for the two different halves of my trip. I would kind of need double the amount of pouches and I didn't really think about that. I should have got another set. But how I'm gonna do it is I'm going to put all the stuff for the second half of my trip into this pouch and then all the stuff for the first half of my trip will not be in a pouch. It'll just be folded next to it in my suitcase, but that's how I'll separate it. So it'll be like this, like this is for the second half, this is for the first half. So at least it has some sort of like divider. So this is like basically all of my clothes, all my different outfits, dresses, two piece sets. Like I probably have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's probably like 10 outfits in here, just in this little pouch that are all for the second half of my trip. So I'm gonna zip that up. Then I'm gonna use this last packing cube to pack stuff that's kind of like interchangeable for both parts of the trip. So this is like a little athletic set. I'm calling it my adventure outfit. So like something I would wear if I was going zip lining or riding ATVs or just something that I wanna have something like a little active wear set. So I'm gonna bring that and that could be for any part of the trip as well as kind of like pajamas slash lounge wear cozy clothing. I have a long sleeve little pajama shirt cause I get cold at night. And then I have long kind of lounge pants, pajama pants and then shorts version of kind of the same thing. So that's just like stuff to sleep in, stuff when I'm just like chilling in the room, getting ready, whatever type clothes. I'm gonna put that in the same cube and I will be using that throughout the whole entire trip. So then, like I said, what I'm left with here is the clothes that are for the first half. So this is second half outfits, first half outfits. So these are the tops, bottoms, and dresses. I wish I had another one of these pouches to put all of this stuff in, but I just don't have one. I might see if I can steal one of Zaya's, stay tuned. But yeah, this is basically all my stuff. So swimwear, undergarments, second half outfits, interchangeable loungewear outfits, and then first half outfits. So I think I consolidated it down really well, actually. Now, as for 
shoes because I was really struggling with feeling like I'm trying to bring too many shoes. I have this pouch which came with the packing cubes and it's specially made for shoes because it's like that type of shape. And I actually fit three pairs of flat sandals in here. So I have my lace up beaded ones. I have these ones and then I have the lace up sparkly ones in here. I'm trying to decide if I'm also going to bring these. They don't fit in this pouch. Well, I actually could probably make them fit in this pouch. I mean, if it fits, it ships. That's kind of my philosophy. If it fits, it ships. So let me see if I can shove these in here and then I might bring this fourth pair of flat sandals. But I also have another pair, these ones, which I've decided I'm gonna wear to the airport. Definitely bringing these. I knew I wanted to bring these and wear them to the airport. And then also I have one of my outfits that I just decided to wear to the airport, this two-piece set. Cause it's kind of like a good airport outfit anyway, cause I kind of get cold. So it's got long pants and then I'm gonna wear a little crop top with the long shirt over it. So if I get hot, I can take this off. But if I do get cold, I'll have that. So I feel like this is a good airport outfit and it's an outfit I definitely wanted to bring with me anyway. So that kind of helps with the packing. But let me see if I can fit these shoes in here. It fits. So I have four pairs of sandals in this little shoe pouch, plus the fifth pair that I'm wearing to the airport. That is a little excessive. I'm not gonna lie, but it's really just because I have certain outfits that I wanna wear certain shoes with. Now for the heels, I decided I'm not bringing these and I'm not bringing these. So what I am bringing are a pair of black sandal heels, this pair of the nude heels, as well as this pair of the nude heels, and this statement heel that I just really have a specific outfit that I wanna wear with these. Four pairs of heels, I feel like that's reasonable. I realized when I was looking at my outfits that for most of my outfits, I'm gonna wanna wear a nude heel or a black heel. So I really don't need a whole bunch of different shoe options. I mean, I might get there and regret not bringing these, but I don't know, we gonna see. But I am putting each pair of shoes into a shoe dust bag. Again, these are just bags that I kept from when I purchased shoes. A lot of times when you buy heels, they come in these bags and I always keep them because they come in super handy for packing. So one pair of heels fits perfectly in this little bag and it just helps to keep them clean, like from clanking up against each other, scuffing each other up, dirtying each other up, but also for organization. So there's not just like all flying around your suitcase. And also it kind of helps consolidate in my opinion too, because it kind of like, you know, this is a whole pair of heels and it just kind of squishes down so for some reason this one doesn't want to close I'm trying to like close it and it won't close but whatever they don't really need to close as long as they're in there so these are my four pairs of heels four pairs of sandals this is all my shoes plus the ones that I'm wearing I'm debating on bringing a pair of sneakers since I'm not wearing sneakers to the airport do I need to bring a pair of sneakers but I'm running through the trip in my head and the things that we have planned and I'm like I don't think I'll be doing anything where I would need to be wearing sneakers sneakers or need to be wearing closed toe shoes, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, do I really wanna go somewhere and only have these little flimsy sandals and heels and not have no type of substantial shoe? I feel like that's risky. I feel like I should throw in a pair of sneakers, but I just don't own like a good pair of like throwaway sneakers. Like I wish I had a pair of plain white Vans. Like I guess I could bring these, but I wish I had a pair of like, you know, those plain lace up white Vans that would be like the perfect thing. Like, I like this shoe, but the color is kind of throwing me off because like I wish these were just like white or black and then it would go with anything and it would just be like, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll bring the Vans? I don't know, I need to, I need to think about that. Now that I've got everything in their little cubes and pouches, we are going to start actually putting stuff in the suitcase and just seeing how it fits best. I am thinking that I'm gonna do like my shoes and other stuff in my carry-on suitcase. So I have this matching set. This is the regular size. And then I have the little matching carry-on size, which like I was saying earlier, I have never brought both of these together at the same time. It's usually either or. I think I'm gonna need the space. So I'm thinking maybe all the shoes can go in here. Like shoes and how do I wanna do this? Let me think. 
bougie, you're not helping. So I still have to pack like my purses, accessories, and then obviously I have like my makeup and my toiletries and everything. Okay, so I have all my shoes on this side so far. I'm gonna put like bags and accessories. I think I'm gonna veto this bag. It would be a cute little statement pop of color. Maybe I will bring it. <laughs> and then I think just this tote bag and not the other beach bag. Okay, I am gonna bring these sneakers after all just cause they're like my most comfortable, lightweight, breathable, compact sneakers. So these are gonna go in here with the shoes. Just cause I don't wanna not have any closed toed shoes. And then for the rest of my clothes over here, I actually still have like space on this side. Again, I wish I had pouches for this stuff, but it'll do. At least it's separated still like that. So that's all of my clothes for everything for the whole eight days. And then on this side, since this is my checked bag and I am gonna wanna bring some full size products um, as far as like liquids and stuff, I'll put my toiletries and makeup here. That way it's checked so I don't have to worry about like travel size products and stuff. So for toiletries, this is my new toiletry bag. I got it off of Amazon. I will have it linked for you guys. This is nice because it has so many different compartments. It opens up like this. So you just like hang it on the door in your hotel or whatever and you can easily access all your stuff. So I compartmentalized it like toothbrush related stuff. And then this is, I think this is body care, hair care, Care. Like I did all my different sections of stuff so I could easily find everything and I keep this packed Like I have separate toiletries that I bought, you know, if I need to buy two of something So I have my main one and my travel one. I just keep this packed with my essentials that way I don't have to like repack it and take my normal stuff and put it in here every time I go on a trip It makes it so much easier. So I already know that like my essential essentials are already in here Like I don't need to pack it. The only extra stuff I would have to pack is like for this certain hair style I have certain hair products that I would want to bring so I do need to pack that and any other like random stuff like that to like add in so I'm gonna make sure there's nothing I need to add in mainly I think it's just hair styling products and then I need to pack my makeup bag okay so as far as adding stuff to my toiletry bag I added a few extra things to my skincare section extra SPF products sunscreen tanning oils because I am going to a tropical location so I added like those specific things and then for my hair I added the specific styling products that I need for this hairstyle. And that was all I had to add to here because everything else, like the essentials, like I said, were already in here. So I'm just gonna fold this back up. So there's that. This one, because I do have full size products, like I said, I'm gonna put into my checked bag. That way I don't have to worry about the sizes and ounces of stuff because I hate dealing with that. Now I'm gonna pack my jewelry and sunglasses. I like to bring, you know, different necklaces and bracelets and stuff. Really just kind of like my go-to stuff is all gold and sparkly. So it kind of goes with every outfit, but I just like to have different options and then pick out a few sunglasses that I'm gonna bring. And this is my travel jewelry case, which as you can see matches like the other stuff. So it has special slots like this. You put your rings onto, it has slots here. This is like for stud earrings. If you wanna stick them on there, a little slot here. This you put your necklaces on so they don't get tangled. Another slot here. It just really helps your stuff not get tangled or broken. So let me feel this up. I'm already wearing a lot of my go-to jewelry, like these necklaces, all these earrings, this ear cuff. So that's set, but I am gonna pack a bunch of extra stuff. So I'm just gonna do it by category. Like I'll do bracelets in this section, and then I'll do big earrings in this little pouch. I'll bring these big hoops. If you haven't seen, I have my jewelry organized here, so it makes it pretty easy to just see what I have and grab what I want to take out of these two drawers. So I'm gonna bring these a couple different styles of statement earrings to go with my different outfit then like some fun colorful beaded ones because I have some outfits like that oh maybe these these are very festive I already have like these little earrings I'm gonna bring some small little hoops and I'm gonna bring a pair of studs when in doubt stud it out then for rings I'm just gonna grab like all of my kind of gold chunky rings like this this 
these because I like to stack them, you know? I knew I was missing some stuff. I had this pouch of jewelry from the last little trip I went on when I was too lazy to properly pack my jewelry and like all of my other main stuff is in here. So I'm gonna put the rings on the ring holder. So you just lift off this little thing and shove your rings on it. This is a lot. <laughs> this is a little excessive, but it's so small. It's not gonna make a difference in like my luggage weight or whatever. So might as well have options. Okay, so I hooked on some necklaces here. I added some earrings that I haven't even opened yet. And this little pouch, this has earrings, this has rings, this has bracelets. So there's all my jewelry. And then for sunglasses, I have these little pouches that are good for travel because they're not like bulky. I also have these boxes, but these are like way too bulky to travel with. They're really protective, but they just take up so much space. So I prefer these little thin pouches. And I'm just gonna pick out a few shades. I usually bring like a brown pair, a black pair, a gold pair and that kind of just goes with every outfit. So these are my sunglasses and I'm actually going to see if I can zip them up inside of the jewelry case. Let me see, good enough. <laughs> so this is all my jewelry and sunglasses in this case. So I'm gonna put this in my carry-on which has the shoes and the bags. So this is like all of like the accessory stuff. I'm also bringing this Bluetooth speaker so I can have music because they never have speakers inside the hotel rooms or at the like Airbnbs and stuff. So I wanna be able to listen to music music in the room like when I'm getting ready and stuff like that. So I'm bringing this travel speaker with the little charger cord attached to it. It's like waterproof and everything. This is also from Amazon so I will have this linked in my storefront as well. Okay boom. Shoes, bags, accessories, jewelry, all that stuff. I also threw a fanny pack in there and an extra little wallet that I might want to switch into. Can I zip it is the question. I put some extra stuff in here because I was like oh I have extra space. Since I never bring carry-on suitcases like this I don't know is there a weight limit or is it just a size limit? I know this is the right size, but I just don't know. I mean, I guess it's not that heavy. It zipped though. So there's that one, done. Okay, so the last thing that I need to put in this bag is just my makeup bag. I have two bags for that. It's the actual makeup and then another bag that has my brushes in it. That's only gonna take up like this little chunk. I'm gonna have like leftover space in here. Like not enough space to consolidate necessarily. And also it's gonna be super heavy if I try to do that. Since I'm gonna have space in here, Maybe I will bring these extra shoes. <laughs> extra shoes. Might bring a couple of extra outfits. I mean, mine as well. Okay, and then for Zaya's bag, it's like the same thing because she has the packing cubes as well. So I'm gonna separate out her stuff. She has her little shoe pouch, which should be able to fit all her little shoes that she's bringing. I'm gonna put those in there. Then I can separate out like swimwear, underwear and pajamas, regular clothes. Like I'm just gonna organize everything and show y'all that. Okay, so everything's all patched up. Here is her underwear, pajamas, and socks. So undergarments and sleepwear pouch separated out. Shoe pouch. This big pouch is like all of her cute outfits, like the cute matching sets, the new stuff that I bought, her new dresses, like more slightly like dressier, I guess, kind of cute clothes. And then this pouch is like casual, comfy clothes. So plain t-shirts, plain shorts, leggings, play clothes type of stuff. And then this is the swimwear pouch. So all of her swimsuits, her swimsuit cover-ups, her little swim shirt is separated out into this pouch. And so that's pretty much everything that's going in her suitcase aside from, I guess, the hats. So the regular hat, the visor, I'm gonna throw in her sunglasses as well. And they actually use this other little extra pouch for that. Making sure I have all her matching hair accessories. So yeah, I think I'll use like a different pouch for like the accessory pouch. And then I'm gonna pack her little toiletry bag with her little essentials. And and I think that'll be everything that goes into her suitcase. She has her own little suitcase, LOL, customized suitcase that she got in PR. I'm gonna see if all of this fits in there. I think I can make it fit. Yep, that all fit just perfectly in her little suitcase. Before I zip up my suitcase, another thing I wanted to share with you guys, my mom got me some Apple AirTags to use as tracking devices for our luggage, just so that we can track it from our phones. These are basically little things that you can just put, hook onto anything, put inside of anything, and it tracks it from your phone. So if our luggage is lost or anything like that, we'll know exactly where it is. So I'm just gonna throw one of these into my 
main suitcase. I'm gonna hook it onto one of these little pouches in here. Like that, I just hooked it onto my toiletry bag, so that'll be safe inside of there. I'll be able to track this bag. I don't have an extra one for this bag, but oh well. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use another one for Zaya's bag. So I need to put this inside of hers. And then I always use this duffel bag from Amazon as my like carry-on personal item bag thing that I actually like carry with me and keep right by me on the plane. So of course I'm packing this with all of my like on the plane travel essentials. So, you know, your wet ones, your wipes. I have this little emergency pack that I put together that has tampons, Tylenol, hand sanitizer, chapstick, like any little emergency thing that you could need is in here in its own little pack. So I'll bring that. I'm gonna bring my travel pillow. I'm gonna use this pouch for my electronic things. So I'm gonna put my AirPods and a charger in here, another charger for my iPad and any other stuff that like goes with my like phone and iPad, I'll put in here. Of course I have my passport in a cute little passport case. I actually have Zaya's passport in here with mine too. So I'm gonna bring that in my duffel bag. I have my main wallet and I went and got cash for where we're going, you need cash. So I'm gonna put that in there and of course bring my main wallet. And then lastly, I have my actual electronics, which I'm trying to like just let them charge a little bit first. So obviously my phone, phone charger, iPad, iPad charger, camera, because I'm a vlogger, I have a little pouch for my little camera stuff. I'm not bringing too much crazy camera equipment because it's just a lot to keep up with, but just my main essentials will be in here, extra battery and charger for that will be in here and all of that will go in my duffel bag. And then we have Zaya's little carry-on personal item, her backpack that I already showed you, which has iPad, her headphones. She's gonna probably wanna bring a couple little toys and coloring books as well. I'll let her pick that out. Her little blankie that she's gonna wear. And then I pre-packed these two packs of snacks. This is a pro tip, one going and one coming back. So I'm gonna put this in Zaya's backpack to have snacks for on the way there. And like when we first get there and we're just like getting settled in, she asks for a snack every three seconds. So it's just nice to have a bunch on hand. And then I'm gonna put this one in my bag and save it and hide it for when we are on the way back. So when we're back on the plane the second time, I'll have a bag for that too. Obviously you can buy snacks in the airport and stuff like that, but they're so overpriced, not a lot to choose from. Just having her favorite stuff that I know she likes just ready to go is how I like to do it. So one in her bag, one in my bag. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that's where I'm gonna end this video because I really need to wrap it up and take a shower and get ready to go to the airport in the next like 30 minutes. So I need to wrap this up, but definitely stay tuned for the next video. I will be vlogging our travels, our whole trip. You'll see how everything turns out, exactly where we're going and everything like that. It's really exciting. It's a really, really fun place that we're going to that Zaya is especially excited to go to. So definitely stay tuned for the next video to see that. And yeah, see you then.